Hey guys, it's Katie. I have got my Christmas book haul for you, so let's just get straight into it. First of all, and possibly the most shocking, I have got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Why, you may ask, do you need those books? Well, Booktubia, I'm so glad that you asked, because my collection of Harry Potter books before Christmas was very limited. I had books one to four, and then I had book seven. Five and six just didn't exist. My collection has been short for quite a few years now. And also, I'm going to share a little secret with you as well. I haven't read the seventh book. Shh. Anyways, because of that, in the new year, I am hoping to reread all of the Harry Potters in order to actually get on to the seventh one because I've totally forgotten everything that happens. And I don't feel that if I watch the films, it will give like an actual representation of everything and the magicalness that actually happens in the books. The next couple of books I got were Bartimaeus, The Amulet of Zamakand, and The Golem's Eye. The story behind me getting these books is because when I was like 15 or 16 I actually have read these already but then like a couple of years back I bought the third book in the series because of the fact that I absolutely loved the first two I thought that I'd just dive straight into the third one and I started reading it and I kind of didn't get it. In order to actually finish the series, I decided to actually reread the first and the second. Now, I've already read The Amulet of Zamakand, and to be honest, when I was reading it, it was like reading it for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. It's just as good as it was when I was 15. I don't believe the age difference makes any difference whatsoever. So seriously, if I'm gonna recommend a series, I'm gonna recommend the Bartimaeus sequence. Next is Requiem by Lauren Oliver. This will complete my series collection and I am super excited to read the finale to this series. And I think 2014 for me is going to be this series ender year in the way that I actually finish a lot of the series that I've started and haven't finished. So this will be amongst the contenders for that. And I just absolutely love this series so much. It's just so ingenuitive and original. And for once, it isn't actually one of those books that is absolutely hench on the last book. It's actually pretty small for finale book standards. So I'm actually pretty excited to, to get onto this one. Lastly, I've got a couple of books that Casey over at The Bitter Productions got me. I will leave her links in the down bar below. First one is Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. Now this is an absolutely stunning book. Um, I absolutely love this cover and the little illustrations. It's just so fresh and so unique and I think it looks really cute as well. I don't think I've ever described a cover as being really cute. And last but not least we have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Now this version has actually been illustrated by Tove Jansen and the illustrations are strangely beautiful in the way that they're not the usual illustrations that I like but they're kind of creepy and I really like that about it it's sort of it's sort of like if a child had illustrated this book and just coloured it in haphazardly but I quite like that about it because generally the story of Alice in Wonderland is quite creepy and it's quite kind of childlike in a sense I'm really excited to actually read this one because it's a children's classic and I love children's classics as well as Mary Poppins as well and I've never actually read Alice in Wonderland so it'll be a new experience for me. There we have it, those are the books that I received for Christmas and let me know what you guys got and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!